Gotti. <laughs> Hey yo, today I'm going to test me 19 story episode 3. The wave. Very inspiring. It's finally here. You know what I'm saying? If y'all don't subscribe, help your boy is 30k. Let's get straight into it. Shout out Casual Chuck. Would you believe me if I said that SB19 would be successful if I met them three years ago? You'd probably think I'm cheating because I'm talking from the present. And your past self would never believe me because I might have only seen them as a trying hard boy group who had to wear the same clothes over and over and over and over again because they couldn't afford a nice variety. But what if despite all Look at that, they still got it done though. They still did that thing. Over again because they couldn't afford a nice variety. But what if despite all this, they already knew what's gonna happen? Ito mga to, sigurado ako in the future, magiging successful kami. They knew their destiny. Yo. Pablo's username reads, I'm Seasmite. A random fan asked, why? He answered, it also means seismic, like Earth's vibrations. It's something big and important. So when I seize the mic, I create this impact, like an Earth. Mm, seismic, seismic, seize the mic. Mm. Quick. And when an earthquake Boy. happens, you know what's next after that? Are you sure you don't know? Do you actually want me to spell it out to you? Okay, let me show you. Mm. I get it. Yeah, that's Pablo. If you're new here, you're probably wondering how he ended up there. This is called Triple. Get in the zone! Break. Finally, they were starting to go up. Yeah. They were very young. This was the time when they were still trying to figure out their musical identity. Enter the Get In The Zone album. Just check out the level of variety. It was definitely a mix of everything. Facts. The Bashers immediately saw this as a weakness. They were seen as a group who didn't know what they were doing. Having, versati having versatility is a weakness now. Bro, I swear, the people who talk the most shit just don't have... They don't have common sense, bro. They really don't. They make no sense at all. Despite all the hate, 18 didn't get affected as they started to get to know the boys on a deeper level. We got to know their fun side. Sige naman po, nung na-meet ko to dati sa cover group, parang sabi ko, feeling ko mayabang to, parang ganun po, mayabang to, tas oh, tumbling-tumbling ka pa dyan, ganun. Tumbling-tumbling pa to. Uy, this mental state. Parang lagi siya yeah. sa sariling mundo, hindi po siya bilong sa amin. Tinanong siya ng teacher namin, sa tingin mo, sino pinakamagaling sa mayaw? Ako! <laughs> sabi niya po. Ako. Ayun, 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 ayun. Me! Ako po, sinabi ko po talaga. Ay, kung confident ka naman, bakit yes, hindi, diba? Ang galing ko po talaga. Si <laughs> <laughs> Justin po, una ko nakita ito. O, Pogi. Siguro mayabang to. Si Justin naman po, nung una ko po siyang nakita, sabi ko, ah, typical guy. Parang ganon. <laughs> Sorry! Si Justin po, parang pure, parang innocent. Pero, nung nakala nalaman ko, hindi po pala. Oh my gosh! Uh, si Stel, sobrang friendly po. Siya po yung happy feel namin. Hindi ko alam na siya pala yung main vocal po kasi akala ko magaling na talaga siya sumayaw. First impression ko po kay Josh, mabait po siya na may mayabang po na dati. 
Ayun. Ayun. Tinatry niya lang maging maangas, pero deep in. He the gangster, the group. I'm gonna lie. Mabait mo siya, no? may mayabang po nanda. Eh, may pavo, gangster. <laughs> Tinatry niya lang maging maangas, pero deep inside, hindi talaga. Softy pala, softy. Oo. Kasi sa Jun, akala ko po, hindi siya yung leader. Nung una, ang weird niya po, nagsasalita mag-isa, parang big, bigla na lang siya nagagano. Sa <laughs> 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 isang tabi po, <laughs> nakatayo siya sa gilid. Tapos may training kami, tapos biglang gagano. Tapos biglang gagano. Gagano po siya sa gilid. Sabi ko, anong ginagawa na? Nagre-ritual ba ito sa gilid? We also got to know their internal battles. Thank you to all of our families, to, especially to our parents, and sa mama ko, sa kapatid ko. Thank you, as well, again, you folks, you're supportive. Right? Kahit sobrang hindi ko sumugal sa buhay. Hindi ako sigurado ko, hindi pinapasok ko. Pero nandiyan talaga yung mga nasta. Mmm, you feel me? This shit is not easy, bro. That shit is not easy. Especially like you were trying to like... It's just when you mean something, bro. And it's like real like deep. Deeper than what people may see, like look at it as. It's, it's just fucking hard to just let it out. No cap. Thanks na, na And just like that, SB19 got us into their zone. So back to the album. As unique as each of the songs was, all seven of them managed to reach the number one spot of Billboard's Lyric Fine Global chart. God damn. It's still insane thinking about it today. And they weren't done. They Boy. also appeared in Billboard's top Social 50, peaking at number three. Or so they thought. And aside from that, ito nagbabasa rin ako ng mga comments naman sa ating comment section. Kasi di ba yung last na pinost ninyo is number three kayo sa Billboard. Social 50, pero ngayon, number 2 na kayo, guys! Oh! What? At Billboard Social 50. <laughs> Everybody's like, <laughs> look at Pablo. Ngayon, number 2 na kayo, guys! Oh! What? Oh. <laughs> At Billboard Social 50, may mga nagko-comment dito. And, Yo. number 6 na kayo. Number 7, di ba, nung last niyong pinost. Number 6 oh. now. Virgin Artist, congratulations! Yo, oh. Damn. Oh, di ba? They couldn't believe it. Stel ended up forgetting that he was in a live interview because he had to check it himself. Yep, it's real. <laughs> September 1st, 2020, a well-known artist cancelled an Instagram live interview with MTV scheduled for the next day. So MTV host Kevin Kinney invited SB19 on a short notice to fill in. An opportunity knocked, they answered. Yeah. Oh my god. Who wants to go first? Uh, uh, for me, I would like to collaborate with Mr. Bruno Mars. Two weeks later, Kevin made a bold prediction. We ask a lot of people for interviews. A lot of people that you want us to interview, we take it very seriously and we reach out. Some people, you'd be amazed, don't have the time of day, can't find the time, can't do it. Oh, you know, that's tough. Okay, no harm, no foul. Then there's the people that are like, name the time, name the place with it. Well, yeah, SB19. They mean business. Did that at 9 p.m. Nice. They'd never done an Instagram live before. They didn't know if they could be together. 
they made it a point to not only be together, be together at 9 p.m. Nice. Because they knew that was the only time that it worked for this U.S. based host. Nice. That type of work ethic is going to take them very far in the music industry. Oh, yeah. I'm bro. also very good at predicting music, okay? Right? I'm like the MTV push of, of hosts. The same way that MTV knows how to pick winners, I know how to pick winners. I said on this very app, SB19 are going to be big stars. I said it on my IG Live. I've said it to you in private, Caitlin. I've said it to Banjo. You know, he didn't say anything back. SB19 are going to be big stars. They have charismatic. They're they're hardworking. Yeah. Today's date is September 18th, 2020, when I'm saying this, okay? I want somebody to post this on September 18th. This was two years ago. Last year, they went crazy. This year, man. 2021. And you can see how right I am because of how much larger and more well-known SB19 will be a year from this date right here. Crazy. And when 2021 started, he reminded people about what's to come. Four years into my career, I've Crazy. seen some people come and go and I've seen some journeys and you can spot things, right? You can notice trends, you can notice similarities. SB19 right now and the lock that 18 has on the voting week in and week out and seeing them rise up the social 50 chart over at Billboard, it's very akin, it's very similar to what was going on with BTS 2017-2018. Now I hope SB19 can reach those heights. I'm rooting for them. Those guys Boy. are awesome guys and hardworking guys. I've interviewed them after like incredibly 10 hour plus work days of rehearsal and choreography practice and they still put a smile on their face and they're incredibly hardworking. I think that's really the, aside from the music being good, it's the work ethic that's gonna take them to the top. So my prediction is they're going to break out in a huge way this year. So take that for what it's worth, ATN. They went fucking then what stupid. Happened? What? Kevin's prediction came true. A Jeez. teen S B 19. Congratulations. This song was on the next level. It showcased Pablo's songwriting skills. No, see, Mulano, pero Mulana, umbala, nata, Ken's dance moves and unique sound. <laughs> Stills heavenly voice and choreography. Ah. The most iconic rap verse in all of P-pop by Josh. <laughs> and Justin's brilliant mind, which created a spectacle no one has ever seen in the country. What? It became the fastest peep up music video to reach one. Oh, I remember, I think it was episode four. He did this chart right here <laughs> and he edited it where it was just everybody else but them. So when they put, when, um, when he put them on the list, this happened right here, bro. Crazy. One million views in just 16 hours. Sheesh. That's insane. SB19 sent shockwaves that reminded people of what they are capable of. Natanaw na ko ang ilang music video nga what? Na, na encourage ko. The world got inspired so it responded with a giant wave of appreciation. Nice. Gusto ko rin ipagbalak yung SB19 SB19. Talaga. Yung last video nila yung what? Uy maganda yun. Ang ganda ng video, oh. di ba? Ang gagaling. Grabe. Grabe. I think dun, dun mo rin naman makikita na hindi mo pwede. crazy bro. Hindi mo pwedeng pulaan ng isang tao na nag prepare na nag-prepare na nag-prepare hanggang sa makakita siya ng opportunity para magamitin yung preparation na yun. Walang pinagkaiba yan kay Manny Pacquiao eh. Na nag-train na nag-train na nag-train na nag-train yep. sobrang galing. Pagpasok niya ng ring, knockout yung kalaban. Walang difference yan. Lalo ko na-appreciate ang isang artist na alam kong pwedeng magyabang pero hindi nagyayabang. This was also the time when I found them. Their music made a difference. Yeah, the, my, my first reaction to them was what? But then I got blocked, I think. Yeah, I got blocked. I don't know if I muted a part of the session I got blocked, so it's probably up or not. I don't know, but that was my first reaction to them. And ever since then, it's just been a whole shit ton of their content. You know what I'm saying? This was also the time when I found them. Their music made a difference in my life. It gave people happiness. Their music inspired us to become a better version of ourselves despite our imperfections. 
SB19 taught us not to only raise our own flag, but to wave it proudly. Mm. You feel me? Oh, I almost forgot. I'm sorry, Pinuno, but you gotta hang in there till the next episode, okay? <laughs> we see. Yo, I, I know what happens. <laughs> I know what happens. <laughs> I know what happens, bro. I know what happens there. You know what I'm saying? W video. Oh, man. Bro, I wonder how many episodes he's gonna do. I think we're up four or five right now. Bro, how the fuck? How the fuck does he do this? Can I? Oh, they're images. What the fuck, bro? That's so fucking lit. How does he do that? The little emojis. I can say that you're really the best SP19 content creator out there. Bro, I'd give it to him too, bro. I don't know anybody else making a documentary on SB19 and their come up, you know what I'm saying? And like I said, he's four episodes in already. So I, I can only imagine what else he's going to do. Obviously, when uh, SB19 keeps growing and dropping stuff, he can talk about it and all that. But it's, he got it, you know what I'm saying? He found his niche uh, audience and it's uh, 18, you know what I'm saying? SB19 supporters. Which is fucking dope. Shout out to Casual Chuck once again, bro. That's my reaction. If y'all enjoyed, give this video a like, subscribe if you haven't. And I'm out.